All right, what up, folks? Welcome back to another YouTube video. This is the first video, I believe, of the new year, so let's get it. That was a clip, if you didn't notice, from 75 days ago. Same outfit, new person. I completed the 75 hard, or should I say, Maddie, you like that one? She gave me a little look like, oh, yeah, like, that's oh. profound. All right, guys. Well, we're here, and that means, that means one thing. I completed it. I did it. I f***ing did it. I actually did it. Your boy actually did it. Now, you can be honest. You can be honest. By a show of hands, or in this case, by a show of smashing that like button, how many of you didn't believe I could actually do it? I know there's probably a lot. To be honest with you, I didn't give you guys a reason to believe in me over the past couple years. I sounded like a broken record. I kept saying, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to start tomorrow. In the fitness category, like I just talked about, I'd like to be 190 pounds by March 1st. Uh, definitely a big one that I would just straight up say I failed. I wanted to get to 190 pounds. So the only two we didn't accomplish and getting to 190. So the goals in 2023, just due to recap, complete the 75 hard. And we made little spurts of progress, little yo-yo vibes, but we never truthfully committed to the grind. And this time I am very, very proud to say that I actually did it. I actually accomplished the 75 hard. This video is kind of going to be a little all over the place. I didn't really do much planning for this. I kind of honestly was just focused on the process. And now that it's like finally coming to an end, I'm like, I got to talk about it and what I learned. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into it. Little refresher on the rules, what I had to do every day. Put them right there. One, pick a diet and stick to it. No cheat days, also no alcohol. The diet I chose to pick was 2,000 calories, no chips or fries, period. That's it, no ifs, ands, or buts. Two 45 minute workouts, one of which must be outside. So for me, what I usually do is one day weights and cardio, one day double cardio, because you want to alternate days for weightlifting. Drink a gallon of water, not a problem. Your boy drinks more than anyone I've ever known. You, you see me, I always have a cup in my hand, whether it be water, iced tea, etc. Always, wasn't a problem. Read 10 pages of a nonfiction book every day, or just nonfiction, it could be an article, whatever. Take a progress picture. We'll kind of go through all that too. Uh, but yeah, that's basically what I had to do every day and no cheat day. So I can truthfully say I did everything every single day no days off. You guys might just want to know this right off the bat. Connor, how much weight did you lose? Well, hopefully you guys can tell, but even watching this back to like pull the clip from, I was like, wow, you can definitely tell that you just like did not look that healthy there compared to now. I still got a ways to go, but I did lose just about 20 pounds. It was 250 when I started, so January 1st, 250 pounds. Not a number, again, I said this in a video. Was not proud to admit that, but that's what we had going on. That was just the un unhealthiest and most I've ever weighed in my life. And now, we're clocking in around 2.30. That's huge. I mean, to, to just say that like, so once I crack into the 220s, I, I haven't been at this current place since I graduated college, which is like basically two years ago. Is a lot, it actually was two years ago, I'm getting old. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really anyway, fine. Yeah, so that feels really good. And basically every threshold from this point will represent kind of something like that that I haven't been to a while. Once I break into the 210s, haven't been there, basically since like freshman year. And then once I dip into the 200s, which will be crazy, have not been there since I think I graduated high school. That's crazy. I'm really feeling good. I think you guys can tell too, like not only do I weigh less, I think I just like look healthier. Like my face looks a lot less bloated. Not only is this a fitness challenge, not only is it weight loss, it's mental toughness, right? So I think like the discipline I was able to show throughout this is truthfully one of the best things and one of the accomplishments I'll hold highest in my life because this is the one that has been stumping me for the longest time, right? Like you guys know, I make those videos every year. I set goals. I'm really good at accomplishing my goals. I set a work goal, bam. I set a budget goal, bam. I want to make this amount of YouTube videos, bam. I want to grow this many followers on TikTok, bam. But the one thing that has stumped me over and over and over and over and over again, but I did it and I'm really proud of that. It's funny, like throughout this process, you know, I've met people at work, I've talked to whatever, Usually at some point it comes up that I'm doing the 75 hard. It's kind of crazy because usually talking to people, they're like, oh wow, like I've never known anyone to actually do that. Or like, oh, the person I knew like failed on day 10 or something. Or like I remember I was talking, actually shout out Megan, talking to Megan, Jeremiah's girlfriend, before I started this, it was actually on New Year's Eve. And she was like, dang, I've never known anyone that's like actually completed that. And I was like, I'm gonna be the first and I promise you that. And it just feels really good to like, make that commitment and actually follow through on it. I mean, I know it's been a meme for the longest time, like, oh, Connor's diet starts tomorrow. 
And that's all fun and games, right? I brought that on myself. From the beginning of this, I expected no one to believe in me. I expected to just have to believe in myself. And that, I mean, I'm sure, you know, like Maddie believed in me. I'm sure some of you guys out there believed in me. But it just really feels good to have committed to something. And something as intense as a 75 hard. I mean, hard is literally in the name. A lot of people are like, damn, I could never do that. And it just feels really good to like add my name to a list of people that did that. Which brings me, I wanted to kind of go into like the hardest and easiest part. So easiest part for me, for sure was cutting out alcohol. And that may sound crazy to you guys because you know I became a little bit of a full sender in college. Literally says mite semper on my arm, which means. But for me, I'm a social drinker, right? Like I'm not the type of guy that's just gonna like randomly have a beer with dinner. Maybe, maybe sometimes like in the summer after golf, right, etc. But it was pretty easy for me to just not drink. Maddie and I like don't really drink at home. We only drink when we like go out or parties. But that was the one thing. Like when we had people over for the Super Bowl, I'm like, ah, everyone's like having a few beers. That'd be nice. But I just stuck to it. So basically like FOMO was the only part that made that tough at times. But overall, not too bad at all. The water part was pretty easy too because I was literally already doing that. Hardest part for me was two things, I think. One, I cut out chips and fries. And your boy, I mean, it kind of, it probably sounds but your boy definitely was having chips or fries and or honestly every single day. Hardest part was definitely cutting out chips and fries. Like that means if I went to, you know, got Cane's, didn't have the fries. That means if I got Jimmy John's, no chips. That means at the Super Bowl party, couldn't have some of the appetizers. That means at Mexican restaurants, that was probably the hardest part. Mexican restaurants, no chips and salsa, no chips and guac, but I did it. I'm proud of myself and I could, everyone that's ever been with me at a restaurant during these 75 days can attest to that. I'm really proud of that. And the other hardest part was definitely getting a workout in before work. Um, in high school, I was super good about working out before high school. And that's crazy, because back then I was probably going to bed like 12 or one, and I literally got up at like five or 5.30 to work out, which is nuts. We just have a lot of energy back then. It was just tough, man. I already felt like getting up for work was hard enough. But a lot of days, in order to get those two workouts in, your boy had to get up before work and do one. And that's still not always the easiest part. It's all about discipline. You're never gonna want to do it. If you're truly someone that wants to get up in the morning and work out, in the moment you're like, yes, let's do it. I'm so happy. Power to you. But for me, it all came down to discipline. And that's something I'm honestly even more proud of. And, and you're never gonna feel bad after you work out. That's the thing. The thing I'm most looking forward to, I am gonna give myself a little bit of a cheat day that day. I think I've earned it after no cheat days for literally since New Year's Eve. I mean, I stopped drinking at midnight. The last chug for me what do you mean? until what do you mean? March 17th, 2023. Uh, last chug, let's get it. We gotta go up in two minutes, so we don't need to rush this fast. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. What do you mean? Let's go. It's St. Patrick's Day. It's my boy Jake's birthday. Gonna go have some fun, have some drinks. I'm gonna have some chips, I'm gonna have some fries. It's gonna be awesome. So it's gonna be great. But then basically after that, right back on it. People are asking like, so kind of like now that you're done with the 75 hard, what's your life gonna look like? What's gonna change? And the truth is not much. I mean, yes, I'm not gonna kill myself if I don't get two workouts in a day. I think it's gonna be good enough to get one in. I'm gonna be able to have chips when I want to, fries when I want to alcohol when I want to, but it's all gonna be in moderation. I've proven, you know, I kind of kick-started it. I've done this, I lost that first 20, and now it's about kind of just moderation and finding something that I can realistically live with. But yeah, other than that, like I kind of did this, yes, to kickstart weight loss, but also to kickstart getting into healthy habits. I just feel like this has really kickstarted me back into that active and healthy lifestyle. Weight check, like I said, started at 250, now I'm at 230, that's 20 pounds for my math majors. I'm pumped about that, that's huge. It's awesome to be like, wow, I undid all the damage I did after college. So I'm basically a college senior again, I wish. But yeah, that's what we got going. Um, obviously my end goal is 200 by the time I get married, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So we got about seven months to lose 30 more pounds. 100% gonna do it. Kind of getting into some things I learned because I think you know whether or not this inspired you to try this challenge or whether you're just curious about what I learned. This has just been the thing over the past, I literally since I, gra I graduated high school, this has been something that I've had on my radar and had on my goals list and just never accomplished. But it's nice to now like finally be the guy that's like, no, like he said it started tomorrow and he actually did it. So on New Year's Eve, actually a little bit before New Year's Eve, we were playing a card game at my house. Shout out to the homies. One of the cards in there, I don't know if it was, it wasn't Cards Against Humanity, it's just called Who's, Who's Most Likely To. And I pulled a card that said this. Let's focus on that. Is really gonna do it tomorrow. And I was like, this could not be better timing because that has been a joke for as long as I can remember. Oh yeah, diets are small, right Connor? But I put that in my wallet. I've literally had, you can see it's crumpled and shit. I literally put it in my wallet 
and I've looked at it every day. Maybe if I need a little extra motivation or maybe just like, yeah, I'm pumped. Like this whole time, that's been an awesome source of motivation. Just being like, yeah, you know what? You're not the guy that says he's gonna do it anymore. You're the guy that did it. You need that introspective motivation sometimes. I'd say for the first month, you're really on your own. People can't really tell a difference yet. You can't really necessarily see a difference yourself, but you really gotta be on yourself, which is why it's so tough. Like now down the road, everyone I see is like, whoa, like I was literally on TikTok live the other day and someone's like, dude, you look amazing. Like what have you been doing? And that's amazing. External motivation is huge. Like I love that. Um, and I, again, I, some people feel differently about that. But for me, if you comment that I look better and like that I've lost weight, that makes my day. On New Year's Eve, I said I was gonna start tomorrow and I did. And now it's day 75 and your boy's here. Lost 20 pounds, gonna take on the world. But that'll bring me into something. Maddie just snapchat me, I gotta check it out. Have you seen my dad? I keep going by his door, cause I don't know where my dad went. Oh, <laughs> he literally was waiting outside my door. Just sent this live on vid, lol. He's so cute, I love my son. We love him. Um. But yeah, that'll kind of bring me into something. The number one thing I learned is you need to lower your expectations. When I would think about this, doing this, like last year, I was like, I'm gonna lose 30 pounds. I'm gonna lose 40 pounds. You're gonna, you're gonna set expectations higher. And when you don't hit those expectations, it can be really tough to deal with mentally. I remember like after the first month, my mind like, oh yeah, I'm gonna lose like 15 pounds. And I lost like nine. And I was like, bro, what the heck? Like, I've literally been killing it. My body has been used to being overweight for the past five years of my life. You're not just gonna flip a switch and lose 50 pounds. Like, it's just not gonna happen. And especially when you do it the right way. I think part of it too is me expecting to lose more faster because for the past five years, when I wanted to lose weight, I just did a yo-yo. I literally, like over quarantine, literally for a month straight, I think I ate like a thousand calories and lost like 20 pounds. That's not healthy, nor is it sustainable. So like, yes, I lost weight faster and like I technically looked better faster, but this time it was all about actually sticking to my calories, like 2000, not 1100, right? Like I was eating 2000, no chips or fries. And obviously the deficit was higher because I was doing two workouts a day. And like, look at me now at the end, 20 pounds. That's not nothing, that it adds up. But I just think maybe not lower your expectations because that sounds bad, but just like understand that you're probably gonna bite off more than you can chew as far as like setting a goal weight. That's the other thing. Intermittent goals along the way are great, but for me, I really try to, as much as possible during this challenge, treat the challenge not as what weight I was gonna get to, but as the things I was gonna check off every day. That's just a big piece of advice I have, is it's okay. Like, looking back, yeah, I would've loved to like lose 25, and that's kinda what I said to myself. I was like, I'm gonna lose 25, I'm gonna get halfway there exactly. That would've been awesome, but hey, 20's awesome too. That's a lot. When I lose 50, it's gonna be a, it was gonna be a fifth of my body weight gone, which is crazy. It's not all or nothing. That's a huge point I wanna to touch on, and something that to this day, I still have to focus on a lot to not get into that. For example, if you're doing this before the 75 hard, if one day I was like, oh, I'm gonna like do really good today, and then like I had a good breakfast, I'm like, yes, let's go. I worked out, I'm like, yes, let's go. And then I had a little bit too much for lunch, or a lot too much for lunch. Say, like two Big Macs, and I'm like, well now like I ruined the day, now I might as well just have like a dinner and like eat a bunch of snacks and like eat dessert. And it's like, no, you're, what, what are you doing? I wish I could go back in time to myself every time I thought that way and say, wake the f up, that's not how it works. 500 calories over your goal is better than 1,000, better than 2,000. And that's just how everyone tends to think, but that's not how it works. Discipline is by far the most important thing when you're losing weight. That may seem obvious, but what I mean by that, for se especially let's take 75 days as a sample size. There's no possible way, there's no way that for 75 straight days, you're going to want to work out twice every day, want to only eat 2,000 calories or whatever your diet is, want to not drink any alcohol, want to do all this. It's like, there's no way you're gonna wanna go outside in negative 10 degree weather for one of your workouts because that's what the rules say. It's discipline. A lot of people, I think, try to convince themselves that like, when losing weight or whatever, there's just gonna be like a magical click where you're like, oh yeah, this is just like, I love this now, like it's awesome. And part of that's true. Like you, you get into a habit for sure. I think the fitness industry and a lot of influencers try to make it seem like you're just gonna get to this point and it's gonna flip a switch and it's gonna be easy. It's never gonna be easy. I guarantee this next couple months where I lose the next 30 is probably gonna be harder than the 75 hard. But guess what? Discipline. As long as I keep discipline and stay focused, it's gonna happen. And I'm gonna look back at you guys and make a video and say, I lost 50 pounds. And that's gonna be the thumbnail. It's gonna be like, and then I'm probably gonna do like a cheat meal video, which is gonna be awesome. Discipline, discipline, discipline. And consistency. 
It's consistency. That's it. If you start now, in two weeks you'll feel it. In four weeks you'll see it. And in eight weeks you'll hear it. And I found that to be incredibly true. Basically what that means, let's unpack that. Let's unpack that. Two weeks you'll, you'll uh, feel it. You go from unhealthy habits to healthy habits or healthy, kind of healthy habits to healthier habits, whatever. You improve your eating, you improve your working out, you improve your activity level, you're gonna feel better. And I for sure noticed that. In four weeks, you'll see it. One of the things is you have to take a progress picture every day. Wow, I can actually start to see it. And like I take a picture front on, a picture from the side, a picture flexing, it's like, whoa, my muscle looks more defined there. Like, whoa, you can see that like my stomach's not curving out as much now. Less of a beer belly. And that's really cool once you start to like actually see it. It's hard to notice change if you're seeing someone consistently every single day. But you look back at the pictures and you're like, damn. So in four weeks you'll see it. And in eight weeks you'll hear it. This is honestly the coolest part. Cause it's like, I've been consistent, I've been doing it. And then people start to notice. People start to be like, wait a second. You're losing weight, you're doing something. You look good. Almost right at the two month part, I started to hear it. That's honestly pretty motivating too. You can find whatever motivates you. But for me, it was a mix of everything. I mean, first and foremost, I want to do this to be healthier. I always say I'm going to live to 100 minimum. This starts here. You got to be healthy. You want to live a long time, do this. Obviously, I was like, I'm going to look better. I'm going to love that. Like, I'm going to take my shirt off and feel good in the summer, right? I better golf. I'm going to be a better athlete. I'm going to jump higher, run faster, right? Like, whatever motivates you. And there's a lot of factors. But for me, overall, it was about health. And I'm super pumped and happy that I was able to do that. And also just building those healthy habits. I, I, I guess I just want to say thank you guys. Something I didn't even touch on is like along the way, you know, I'd post stuff on my Snapchat story, on my Instagram story. Uh, like we had a fitness chat on Snapchat, which it felt really good to like, like actually be using it, like motivate each other. Every part of it was cool. The feeling it, the seeing it, and the hearing it. And I think for me, like one of the coolest parts is when you hear it, because you're like, damn, like I've been actually doing something. Like people I never would have expected reached out and like, dude, you're motivating the shit out of me, like let's go. One of my friends who like didn't work out, I feel like got motivated to start working out more. And that's just amazing. I was doing this for myself, but like look at that too. Like look at people you're gonna motivate. Also thank you to the people that didn't believe I could do this. Again, I fully brought that on myself. I don't think I gave really anyone a reason to believe I was gonna do this. But I'm really proud to sit here on March 17th, 2023 and be like, yeah, I did it. On December 31st, 2022, I said it starts tomorrow and it actually freaking did focus but yeah there you have it we accomplished the 75 hard lost 20 pounds still got 30 more to lose before the wedding and that's the way i'm going to keep it i don't ever intend on getting back to 250 i don't ever intend on getting back to 240 don't ever intend on getting back to 230 that's where i am now once i get to 220 that'll be the last time once i get to 210 that'll be the last time and once i get to 200 i want to stick around there and i'm going to want to be in shape for the rest of my life and that's how we're going to get it thank you guys so much peace out Comment down below if you liked the video. Really anything, what you had for lunch. If you're gonna try this maybe, share the video with your friends, like it, subscribe. Really appreciate you guys. Peace, see you next week.